So I'm here in the Asus booth. Now we're on the ROG side. I just covered all of the thin and light consumer products. It's really loud in here. So just hang in there with me. I'm trying to keep my volume up as well. What we're gonna be covering in this video, the Strix Scar, the Strix G16 and the G18, and they have a new XG Mobile. So I'm gonna get my way, work my way into these devices. When you're looking at the Strix G16 and the Strix Scar, there's a lot of similarities. They both have the RGB lighting around the entire bottom of the chassis. And the second thing is they are easily upgradable. So you can literally flick a switch, slide the bottom cover off, have access to two M.2 slots and two RAM sticks. So that's super advantageous. Now, another thing to consider is that they both have aluminum chassis. So that's really nice. It's nice thin aluminum, so they're not super heavy. Another thing, Thunderbolt 5. All the devices come with Thunderbolt 5, which is fantastic. 80 gigs per second transfer speeds. Okay, third thing, vapor chamber and heat pipes and fans, okay? The key to 2025 is going to be efficiency and cooling. And that is where the Strix Scar and the Strix G16 and G18, they're gonna take their hack at who can cool these new beast components the best. We have RTX 5080 in the Strix G16. RTX 5090 comes in the Strix Scar. So that is what we're looking at with the Strix series. The difference between the panel on the Strix Scar 16 and 18 and the Strix G16 and G18, the Strix G series has the IPS panel, the Strix Scar has the mini LED panel. Both 240 hertz. I kind of digressed on the cooling chamber. Now the cooling chamber is going to be in competition with HP's new HP Omen Max. So just keep aware of that. There's gonna be a lot of people fighting to be the best cooling system. I'm gonna have a bunch of B-roll thrown up on there. It's super busy, super loud in here. Um, but also one other thing I wanna point out is large glass track pads, manual click track pads. All right, it's crazy busy in here. I can't believe it. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to one of the highlights in my opinion, uh, and that's going to be the XG Mobile. This is the brand new Thunderbolt 5 XG Mobile. They've gotten rid of the XG Mobile port, and this will be compatible with any device using Thunderbolt 4 or Thunderbolt 5, which is awesome. You have the two, I think these are gonna be Thunderbolt ports on here. If not, they're the USB-C. Two USB-A's, a display port, HDMI, and a network port. The cool thing about the XG Mobile is it not only is a external GPU, but it is also a dock. You have all these extra ports. So right now, the only devices equipped with Thunderbolt 5 are going to be bigger gaming laptops. So the practicality of this is not as high as it will be in the coming years. However, if you have a laptop, a thin and light laptop with Thunderbolt 4, you can turn it into a beast gaming laptop with the addition of the XG Mobile. Love the design this year. It's kind of this translucent, uh, so you can see through to the motherboard. Actually, on top of it, you can see an SD card reader. So definitely something to check out. Absolutely amazing. Okay, now the next thing we're talking about is the G14. The G14 had a full refresh on both the CPU and the GPU. So we now have uh, an RTX 50 series available on the G14 and a refreshed AMD spec. So we have the AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370 with Radeon 890M. G14 is getting a strong refresh, should be a great contender of performance this year. Uh, now also one thing to note is they're gonna be refreshing the tough a16. It hasn't been refreshed yet, uh, but there's going to be planning some refreshes in the coming months. If you have any questions or comments, definitely drop them below. I'm trying to be as interactive as possible here at CES because there's there's so much going on, especially with the launch of uh, Intel Core Ultra with Arrow Lake. Definitely click or tap the screen here for more coverage from CES 2025. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope this wasn't insanely loud. Talk to y'all soon.